Tell you what, my friends, I have been chasing this mosquito around the garage for the last 20 minutes, and I finally got him. Usually I don't let something like that bother me, but this thing had a wingspan about like it. I hadn't seen one that big in this area before. <laughs> I guess we're really starting to grow big here in the Appalachians, that's all I know to say. Last time I saw a mosquito that big was down in South Carolina back in the mid-80s. <laughs> oh boy, speaking of South Carolina, I want to send a shout out to my good buddy Michael Davis, or should I say Grandpa Davis. His son Lance finally got down to business and made him a grandfather. And Michael, I want to say congratulations there is no more rewarding experience than being a grandparent. And I can tell you from experience myself. All right. Yeah. I'm Mark, and you're watching the Garage Guy 879 channel. This is Saturday night, June 4th, 2022. And this video here is buying a firearm online. Slash m and 2.0. 9C, the trigger is garbage. And I'm tying these two subjects in together to make this video because I bought this firearm online and yes, the trigger, especially the reset, is garbage. That's on me. You know, for the last 10 years, I've been buying firearms online and I've only had one problem. And that's a pretty good, you know, average right there. I probably bought maybe uh, 40, maybe 50, I don't know. Uh, I'd say closer to 50 firearms online, and I have not had one bit of problem except one time, and that problem was quickly corrected. So I can't complain about that anymore. But there are a lot of people out there that will not buy a firearm online. You just can't talk them into it. You couldn't pay them enough money to do so. I get that. They want to go into a local gun shop. They want to check a firearm out themselves. They want to feel the feel of it, feel how solid it is, balanced line of sight, whole nine yards, do a function check, which to me, a function check is this. And, of course, you ask the... Uh, salesman behind the counter permission to do this every time. It's just good gun shop etiquette. Okay, nothing in the chamber. Magazine's out of the well. We're right here. We're safe. Then you point the firearm down and you just pull the trigger. Rack slide back. And then check reset. And sometimes they will let you disassemble it, check it out, and then reassemble it. No problem. You know, that's pretty well normal. Buying online, you cannot do that. Because even though you might be checking out one M&P 9C 2.0 at a gun shop locally, doesn't mean you're going to have the same results when you buy online. So, what I do is, if I'm on the internet and I'm checking out these uh, websites, and in the past 10 years I bought from Buds, Kentucky Gun Company, uh, Georgia Gun Company, Grab a Gun, several others, had pretty good luck with them. But if I find something on those sites that's at a really good price, then I'll call around at the local gun shops and say, hey, do you have this model firearm? If they say, yeah, then I'll say, well, I'll be there in a few, and I'll show up, do the function check and all that. Then I'll say, well, your price is a tad high. Let me show you something. And I'll pull out the cell phone, click onto the website, and show them the uh, online price. And I'll say, can you match this or even come close to it? Sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no. If they say yes, I buy local. If they can't, uh, you know, match a price or whatever, then I'll buy online. And like I said, 99% of the time, it's been good. Now, Smith & Wesson, 
everybody knows about the M and P line of pistols for the most part. They've been decent as far as the trigger goes, and they've been very reliable. But you know, the first M and P's that come out, the triggers were pretty well horrendous. And you see all these YouTube videos, or you go on Odyssey, or Oogetube, or whatever other video platforms they got. Oh, I got this M&P right here, yeah, but I put in an Apex Trigger, and oh, God, now it's king of the world, yeah. Apex Trigger job, you know, whole nine yards. You shouldn't have to do that. My God, especially Smith & Wesson. You, you know, uh... 20th century revolver. Smith and Wesson was king. They still make good revolvers, not as well as they used to, but they're still good. But when they come out with a semi-auto, especially something as nice as this, you would think they'd be able to put a decent trigger with a decent reset in it, but no. Uh, the, the reset on this here is pure frickin' garbage. I mean, it's almost non-existent. And a trigger reset, when it pops out, you not only want to hear it, you want to be able to feel it with that trigger finger. Well, I guess I got maybe one out of two here. Let's go ahead and try out the trigger on here, and we'll do the trigger pull and reset. Now, let's do this. Shouldn't be all that racket in there. Good grief. Listen. Now I hit the wall. Okay, after the wall, it's not too bad. Now let's do the reset. A very faint click. Okay. But the other part, I could not feel it with my trigger, uh, trigger finger. To not feel it. You want it audible and tactile, okay? You want to be able to hear it and feel it. You can barely hear it, but you cannot feel it. One more time. Couldn't feel it. Usually you get something like a Glock or maybe even a Ruger. Yeah, it's got kind of a pop to it. You can hear it. And you can definitely feel it. And believe me, my trigger finger is not numb. <laughs> it was, it didn't pop out, it's more like it slid forward. I don't know, this is just one of the things about buying online now. You know, this is on me. I'm not blaming buds. I'm not blaming anybody but myself. Now, when I went to the gun shop, I tried out this same exact model, the Tall Sights. It is MOS optic ready. And uh, I'm like, okay, but it didn't have the new flat face triggers that the 2.0s are coming out with. Now, the one I tried in the local gun shop, it was pretty decent. It had a actually good reset on it, good trigger pull. A lot of you people out there might say in the comments, well, Mark, that's the one you probably should have got, and even if it costs more, you probably should have got it. Guess what? You're right. But you know, this is on me. But when you buy a firearm online, this is just a chance you have to take. It's no big deal. You know, I got a local gunsmith here. I can go out and I don't have the flat face trigger put in, Apex, Timney, what have you. Uh, whichever one I decide, I'll do a follow-up video later on. But, uh, you know, buying a firearm online, you don't always get what you expect. And with this right here, you know, I do expect some good things from this. Uh, the reason I got this, and I'm not one to have a firearm this size with an optic on it, and really not any firearm handgun with an optic on it. To me, a carry gun with an optic is just something else that can go wrong, okay? 
And you don't need that in a uh, self-defense situation. That's why I prefer just regular sights on a uh, concealed carry firearm. But I didn't buy this to conceal carry. I bought this right here just to have some fun with. Now around here, me and a bunch of my friends will get together on a weekend or something. Uh, we'll make up some new targets, some new shooting patterns, mm -hmm. and we'll each throw maybe uh, 25, 30, 40 bucks in a pot. And we'll keep scoring to the end of the day. Winner takes all, you know. Somebody's got a chance to win a lot of money, and even though if you don't win, you still have a good time target shooting with your friends. And another thing a lot of us do, especially around here, is like we try to do outdo each other. I'd be like, hey, see what I got? Yeah, check that out. Bet you wish you had something like that. <laughs> well, you know what? About a week or two later, they'll come up to me and say, hey, Mark, you see what I got? Yeah, bet you wish you had this. And it goes on and on, but it's all in fun. You know, that's what it's all about. That's why I got one here, this size, optic ready. But as far as Smith & Wesson goes, you ought to be able to put a decent trigger with a decent damn reset in it. I mean, this is ridiculous. You see all these other videos, like I said, and they say, oh, well, I had to change springs out or put an apex trigger in. You know, they have always had to do, seems like the majority of them, to do a trigger job. And even with these new flat face triggers they got, a lot of people have been having trouble with the 10 millimeter model with that flat face trigger. Come on guys, I got a Shield Plus with a flat face trigger. It's awesome. But even back with this curvy trigger that they put out a few years ago, you ought to have been able to improve on it by now, okay? I think what Smith & Wesson did with these uh, models here with the uh, high-rise sights and the uh, curved trigger, they had some leftover triggers and they figured, well, guess what, we'll put this together, we'll slap this curved trigger in, sell it for a few bucks less. And I guess I got caught up in that, figured I'd get a bargain, but in the end, I'm going to have to end up having a trigger job on this myself. You know, no one's fault but my own. And buying online, that's a risk you take. Will I buy online again? Yes, I will. Got no problem with it. But, you know, I just want to say you don't always get what you expect. All right. Buying a firearm online, M&P 2.09C trigger is garbage. There, I said it. Well, I'll tell you what, my friends, it's getting kind of late here. I'm going to shut everything down here at the garage. I'm going to hop on the garage cart and head back down to the house. And uh, it is rather dark out. And even though I don't have headlights on that thing, I do have this. So I am good to go. <laughs> Thought I'd have this conversation with my friends here tonight. It's good to sit down here at the table. It's been a while since I did a video on this platform from the garage, and uh, I really enjoy doing this. So if you've got any thoughts or uh, comments, please leave it in the comment section, and I hope to hear from you soon. All right, I'm Mark, GarageGate79. Always remember when you go shooting, please be safe.